What's going on YouTube? Uh, I'm back and so much better. I'm excited to be back on YouTube. I plan on being extremely consistent on YouTube moving forward. Some updates, I moved into the FaZe house. Um, I'm the trainer for, for all the guys here and I plan on posting a ton of fitness content moving forward. Today I'm just gonna take you guys on what my life is like, walk you guys through an arm day as well and kind of talk to you a little bit about how I met and got introduced to FaZe Clan. Let's do it. How I met and got introduced to the FaZe guys. Um, we had, I had two mutual clients. I used to train two different individuals. One was training with me currently. Um, and then another one did Swag's tattoo. Um, and I kind of got referred by two different people at the same time. Um, you know, Swag was moving to LA. He had just recently signed with FaZe and then he had plans to move to LA. He was looking for a trainer right away. And I always got to give credit to Swag. He literally moved to LA and started training the very next day. So my boy Jeezy, he low key is jealous nowadays because um, he kind of thinks that like Swag took his spot. Like, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, so it was like a little jealousy thing. He was like, yo, Swag, DM my boy Ty. I promise you, you guys are similar age. You guys have similar interests. You know, it just makes sense, bro. Like he got me into the best shape of my life. I want you to DM Ty. And that's exactly what Swag did. Yo, he DM'd me like, yo, I just moved to LA, I'm looking for a trainer. He literally drove all the way down from uh, their very first house, which was in like Westwood, all the way down to Long Beach. He pulled up with Booyah. Booyah was still here at the time. Jay Smooth, Dante, BJ, and Swag. All five of them pulled up all the way down. Was like, yo, like we want to start training. Um, reached out to one of my boys that I went to college with was like, yo, there's no way these dudes are gonna be able to drive all the way down from Westwood, all the way down to Long Beach every day. So I found like a, a like a middle ground spot for them to train at. Um, and literally they started training four days a week ever since. They started becoming more comfortable and it just eventually led to, yo, like, what are you doing tonight? We gotta go to Vegas, you should come. We gotta go to AZ, come, you know? And I just started being like, you know, just one of the dogs. So uh, to be able to keep that dynamic of like, yo, when we're training, we're training crack some jokes but you know separate the two between the fitness and then the the personal stuff um you know it's been cool so i'm definitely blessed and definitely enjoying this entire thing like just meeting phase and meeting chris um has opened an entire vortex um in my life and you know the way things are going it's been absolutely insane i live in palisades like you know I've met so many people through just being in these rooms. So like I said, man, I'm just grateful, grateful, grateful to be waking up right here on Pacific Coast Highway every day. This opportunity of being able to be hands-on with FaZe and uh, the relationships I've met with even more than, you know, just a directly new squad, like even FaZe management. This summer was wild. For the first month and a half, I was traveling for the entire summer. As soon as I came back, it was time to lock in you know, I have like a different level of focus. What I'm big on and what I always say is like, yo, as I'm in these rooms, I'm starting to see more shit. It, it motivates me like more, like it makes me want to go harder. Like, damn, this is, this is really possible. Like, bro, like it's just insane. And I'm ready to just grow and keep progressing in all aspects, physically, mentally, spiritually, physically, physically. All right, so now, about to hop on the highway we're driving all the way down to long beach if you guys don't know mike rashid make sure you check him out fitness legend like people ask like who did i ever look up into the fitness industry the answer is absolutely no one other than mike rashid mike rashid is literally a legend bro um he's very lifestyle he's very like i feel like the fitness industry can be very corny um and mike rashid bro uh, is one of like just another great person I met once I moved to LA, bro. He took kind of took me under his wing, uh, encouraged me to hop on YouTube as well, and like he's just one of those guys that is just a staple in the fitness community. So he gave me a lifetime membership to Iron Addicts Gym down here in Long Beach, and that's where I'm on my way uh, to now to meet the boys for an arm day. And um, yeah, um, also it's Mike Rashid and it's also uh, CT Fletcher's gym. You guys should probably know CT if you do any type of weightlifting. If you don't know CT, do your research. Suck it up, motherfucker, because it's still your motherfucking set. CT's a dog. Him and Mike Rashid hooked it up to where me and all my boys get a lifetime membership down here at Iron Addicts Gym. 
life is just so crazy. I would see these videos growing up on YouTube and be like, yo, like if I was in LA and I got to work out at that gym, I'd be so fired up. So it's very surreal and I never tried to lose uh, consciousness of really what's going on, bro. I'm on my way to Iron Addicts Gym to go shoot my own YouTube video. So it's like a full circle moment, bro. It's insane. That's great. Shout out to the homie Mike, yo. For sure. Bro, I just murked my shit. They didn't tell me the curb was dumbass low. Oh, right here. It's a scrape underneath. Yeah. Fuck my whole life up. Fuck my So we just came to pulled up the Iron Addicts Gym. Despite me almost knocking my damn fender off my car, it's time to get it. All right, shout out Ghost. This right here is by far the best pre-workout I've ever used. This is a new flavor. This is a strawberry lemonade legend. So it's like a pump as well as uh, the pre-workout all in one. So it has the L-citrulline, everything like that. But it's like, it's like a perfect feel. I sweat, you know, I feel like I have a great pump, but it doesn't make me tweak too crazy. So also on days where I don't want any caffeine, I'll just use the pump. Uh, strawberry, I mean, uh, strawberry margarita right here, but I just been on this. I can't get enough of this. So if you guys want to give this a try, use code Ty Griffin and um, have a phenomenal workout like we're about to right now. So right here is my college roommate Reese. Good man. Right, right here is my little brother Nate. What's up? What's up, little brother Nate? Roommate Reese. The little brother Nate is funny. <laughs> but I feel it though. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Normally, all normally, respect. All yeah, respect. Full, full respect. I thought one or two things. I thought one or two things. I, th I, 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 I thought you died, one. And I felt bad for saying that because I thought you died. Or two, just a regular dumbass. And I, I thought it was two in my heart. A dumbass. What were you doing? You going back to your old dumb way. This is my boy's friend. Now look, I put it to my boy's friend. My dog tried to fight his dog, so I couldn't leave my dog there. And then come back out there. I'm really compelled in life to make sure he stays on a straight path. You be doing dumb shit. So we are here at Iron Attic Gym in beautiful Signal Hill, Long Beach. A ton of memories here, um, a ton of history here. You can look around at all the graffiti on the, on the wall. But I'm saying this is C.T. Fletcher. It's just, it's insane, bro. Like I remember when I first walked in for the first time and just seeing all this shit that I seen on YouTube growing up fucking insane so when you're here you gotta go insane you gotta go ballistic you gotta bring that energy so i invited all my boys we're literally about to go insane in here just getting money man stop playing when we first came in i forgot that you gotta push the door instead of pull the door you know I mean so uh i thought the key fob was an error normally i'm just the error it's regular dickhead like you know like <laughs> dumbass what are you doing you are a nut a real nut Why don't you do it better? That was the hand. I'm gonna check on him throughout this video because he gotta make sure he stays in a straight line. He's really a knucklehead. I was asleep last night, studying, doing what needed to be done. You know what I mean? What? What happened when you get that NASM? He's gonna put me in that straight path to stop being a dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what I'm gonna have us start with is just a regular barbell bicep curl. All right, so we'll probably just go rapid fire, grab the bar from right here, and then I'll try to not go super heavy with the bicep curls. Try to keep the form nice, tight, dialed in, um, but not, it's gonna be amazing. I'm also gonna throw the fat grips on there. Um, it definitely involves my biceps a little bit more, and then also my grip strength and my forearms overall. It's just, it's a completely different feel when you throw the fat grips on there. So I've definitely been prioritizing my arms. I feel like my arms are a weak point. So let's do it, man. Saturdays for arms, let's get it. They sent me these like two weeks ago. Shout out to Fat Grips, yo. Ever since they sent them, every time I do biceps, uh, you know, I throw these on the bar and I've been seeing a big difference in my arm. So if I got small arms, you can say that in the comment. There's no hate. All it's going to do is turn me up. I don't care. I don't care. You understand that? I don't care. What on the street is you got all the answers. I'm cool. Just a disclaimer. If you hear anything such as dickhead, John, nut ass young bull, bull, nut young bull, it's all just slang, you know? So I'll do a better job of giving you guys the understanding of what these words really mean, okay? Pete, hey, Nate, if somebody come up to you and say you a dickhead young bull, what do that mean? <laughs> I don't know how to say that without saying more slang. Okay. It basically means you duck you a dumbass. Alright, but bro, bro's from Inglewood, so we kinda of adopted him into the, the verbiage. 
You know, but he's starting to learn. Do you want to give him just some? Yeah. Not a dickhead. Nah, it's good reps, dickhead. I see what you're doing. Okay. Phenomenal. So don't mean dumbass. D R A W N. Drawing. For drawing. Doing too much. You're out of pocket. You're acting uncharacteristic. How tight, how tight have you been with nutrition? There. For real? Yeah. Or just fucking justify it all as putting on muscle. Period. Yeah, it gotta be that. I said 217 don't make no sense. 217 is drunk. There. You say you look like Roddy Rich. Niggas confused. They don't know what niggas look like. <laughs> I get Saquon, Roddy Rich, the baby, Tio. <laughs> you, know, you know what you look like? So what we've been doing for the last, I would say, three weeks, starting with the barbell and then just going up, just throwing tens on the outside. So this is our third set. Started with the bar, added a ten. So our second ten this is 85 pounds right here. Um, we start at 20, 15. This will probably be 12 to 15, and then probably do one more set. Now it's gonna turn into a block party. <laughs> the reason why I like this gym is because normally, like, I feel like, you know, I feel like we have some pretty good muscle mass in this group. <laughs> what did you just do? So Jamal, come on with the rep. He said, "Come on, Jamal." So I'm saying we gotta make sure he stays on a straight path. Real knuckle. They always fuck with me when I'm lifting. That's the thing. You gotta learn how so to smack me on my head, grab my ear. So one thing I do to him, like, one thing I do with him, I grab his ear when he works out to see how he works through distractions. I mean, because life is full of distractions, you gotta stay dialed in through all that. That's what he says, but he really just bullying me because I'm a little bro. The thing is, I want him to be everything he aspired to be. Everything I ever was, I need him to be at least that and more. That's the standard I put on that for Nate. But you know, sometimes it can be discouraging when you just around some real gorillas. So right here is just gorillas. And you know, we don't, we're not intimidated by each other. Yo, <laughs> I don't know, how'd it go? I don't know, that shit sucked, man. Oh, oh, I did one lap at a time. This joke. <laughs> yeah. This is one of the most ridiculous shit I've ever seen in my life. Yo, that shit. The one crazy. in the beginning is outrageous. Was ever compete? Let's probably start off with this joint. Here's the judges right here, I'm like this. JJ Ortega Waysa. <laughs> Come on. Two. Yup, three. Yup. Yup, 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 yup. Good. Two more. Yup, 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 yup. One more. Yup, 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 yup. <coughs> now. Oh! That was almost a traffic jam. <laughs> Yo, strip this back down. All the way down now. And now let's go high reps let's go like 20 25 reps with just a bar this right here is where it gets weak it's not all about weight i keep telling y'all that it's not all about weight all right sometimes it's about quality i know i get lean. i know i'm feeling lean when my chest veins start coming out that's what i'm saying 
when I'm lifting in a vein start just going across my whole shit. The men's gymnastics, even the women's gymnastics, they have huge biceps. You wanna know why? They do a ton of damn chin-ups. It's the key. So what I need to start doing more of, chin-ups. When I remember, I remember. When I don't, I don't. At the end of the day, I'm just a man. <laughs> Our very first workout, we just got done. It took like 35 minutes to do. That's the thing. You don't gotta do a thousand different workouts. Just make sure you do the staples, the shit that you know, feel, you feel a good contraction. Make sure you just do that movement. Whoa, so now we're about to do uh, skull crushers from an incline bench and absolutely same thing, same mentality. Go progressively up. Uh, as we go up in sets, come down in reps and just make it progressive. So this is our second workout. I plan to crush this as well. Buys and tries, let's get it. We're gonna superset this tricep movement with uh, single arm preacher curls as well. So we're working buys and tries today. Let's see where Reese goes. His elbows are in nice and tight. Okay, full range of motion. It's perfect. The stronger your triceps are, that's the secondary muscle for your bench press. So if you were trying to increase your bench press, kill, kill, kill triceps. All right, that's a, that's a small key. People just think they can emphasize chest and have their bench go up. All right, there's a secondary muscle, which is your triceps working as well. So increase your triceps, increase your bench. So I, I was gonna say, superset with preacher curls, we'll come back to that. We're gonna superset with chin-ups. So, biceps torched already. Triceps going down. You can already see my energy level start to come down, start to plummet. <laughs> going dumb, man. So right now I'm super low carb, personally. I'm really trying to get lean. I was traveling for the first month and a half of the summer. I've been back like four weeks. I'm still, I feel good, confident enough to take my shirt off. It's been like four weeks. Like four weeks ago, I wasn't this lean. I wasn't as confident. I've been locked in for four weeks and I'm just feeling so much better overall. So I can only imagine in four more weeks, but I had fun. You know, I went to France, went to Cabo, went to Colombia, but I'm back, I'm locked in. <laughs> Yo, how many y'all do? You're funny, yo. <laughs> Sometimes I ask myself, is this really the life I want? I really get in these deep debates, like, yo, maybe it's not so bad on the other side. I'm fucking lying. Don't ever be out of shape. What are you doing? Oh! Bro, there goes spin! Yo, because they call you spin, do me a favor. Go back outside and spin the block one time. <laughs> <laughs> He actually went back yeah, outside. Too. It's my dog, man. Strongest dude in LA. <laughs> right. What's up, man? What's up, Say what's up to the camera. Drop your handle. What's poppin', y'all? Spinner Almighty. Y'all, you know, I'm, try I'm trying to be the strongest man in LA. I'm getting there. You feel me? I'm out here with my boy Ty, my boy D, my boy Nate. I'm gonna get that work in, you feel me? Let's go. I did. Bro, he threw the sterling. You think he liked that? Absolutely. He's a, he's a, he's a me, me and Ch me and chat and bet on it. Like, yo, he was like, Sterling gonna give him run from his money. Not a good fighter. I'm just a fan of O'Malley. His come up. Such an elite striker. Ball through that. Whatever. Pin it there. He just like a snake. Backed up. In. Falling away though. He's such a nut ass. Little. He is a nut. Nut ass. But you gotta respect it. He don't give a fuck. He coming there with the clown shit. Can't beat. But this is the craziest part. Wick, you can keep this. This is the craziest part about the whole shit. He came out to Superstar by Lupe Fiasco. This fight was his claim to fame. Like, bro, listen to the lyrics. Like, if you are who you say you are, a superstar, nigga, the cameras is on, the lights is here. Run that. And guess what he did? Slept him. Big time. His life is forever changed. Gotta respect that. Okay, chin up. Last problem you want. How much you weigh? Tell the people how much you weigh. 188. That's it? 188, wow. that's it. 
Look, 205, easy. Great call. Mm -hmm. Appreciate that. 188, lightweight. I be feeling it. When I don't have a pump, I really be feeling it. Like, I, I feel 188. All right, next super set. We ended up doing chin-ups instead of preacher curl. So now what we're gonna do is go into absolute failure right here on tricep extensions. Okay, we're on a super set, single arm on the preacher curl machine right here. Okay, facing outward, really opening up that bicep, getting the full range of motion at the top. So triceps, bicep, super set once again. Dick K young boy, you be drunk. Fuck out of here, yo. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga said, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Set it up. Tricep fat as shit. Sitting on a fucking pad. y'all at home I'm gonna keep this as short as possible hydrate if you think you're hydrated hydrate more you know what I'm saying lock in on that how familiar are you with muscle failure you ever trained until your muscles failed you? Huh? Have you? I'm not gonna let myself fail this time. I feel it, I'ma fight it. I'm not done. Sometimes you gotta listen to your body. Right here, remember. Make sure you're on that straight path. Like this, linear. No, no, but I'm going up though. So. Linear. Linear, but going up. What's the opposite of linear? I don't know. I dropped out of college. Check on him, yo. What's the opposite of linear? Parallel. <laughs> <laughs> you can make a case for that. Yo, what's the opposite of linear? The opposite of perpendicular is parallel. What? Wait, no. You're done. No, no, You're no, done. Fucking, no, no. What's the opposite of linear? <laughs> no, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. And he just said it. <laughs> what, pie, what pie equal? I could keep going. I competed in National Pie Day, dickhead. 3.14. That's right. Keep, you got, That's you right, got, right? That's right, right? You Talk gotta keep shit. going, though. Talk that shit, man. Talk that shit now, kid. What's the capital of Rhode Island? <laughs> why the fuck would you know? <laughs> why, the, why the fuck would I care? That's the Appaquinimic School District. Yeah, what's the, so capital, what's the capital of Delaware? Oh, what? what is the president on the $20 bill? Tom, no. Oh. Fuck. I know that nigga dang. It start with a T. Ah, uh, I know it. Tom, Thomas. Nah. It's Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> Thomas Edison. <laughs> Hell, y'all almost said I almost said Thomas Edison. I thought I might have to be a who is Edgar Allan Poe? I don't know. <laughs> Dumb as shit. Yo, that pie shit really 3.14? Yeah. Well, solidified. It, it keeps going, but yeah. It, 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 does, it don't stop. Solidified. If my math teacher ever see this, just know I was locked. Pie was drilled in niggas, though. It was. It was drilled in niggas. But for me, I... What do you mean by that? So right here, we're going to step into the gauntlet. We're going to start with 10 reps, 9, reverse pyramid all the way down to 1. All right, hopefully all of us here can finish. Zoom in on his face real quick. Zoom in on his face. Zoom in on me. Three. Zoom in on my shit. All right, look, it's time to enter the gauntlet. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Finish the whole shit, no man left behind. Feel me? Let's go. Be coachable, learn on the fly. This is shit I be talking about, Damn. Stop looking at me like that. Stop looking at me like that. Fuck wrong with young boy. This is, is this a break? That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Explain, it, explain them details again while I'm going. Yeah, so this is 10. This is 10. Oh, it goes right back to staying on track, staying linear. 
It's the reason why his shirt on. Probably ate a burrito bowl last night with extra chipotle mayo and extra sour cream. Young boy, gotta stay focused. I probably did. I probably What'd did. What'd you have last night? You were supposed to, yo, meet me in the gym. No, I said, Nate, meet me in the gym. He was nowhere to be found. That's why I keep saying, stay vertical. Stay vertical. You always doing dumbass shit. Extra mayo, I, extra shit on I your fucking even, burrito. I can't even argue with that. I can't even argue with that. He's right. <laughs> Who won it? It was a little bit too light, so we added 20 pounds to it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you like you are a big head. This is the glow up link. Come on. <laughs> Three. Come on, Nate. Two. That boy, Nate for Nate. Slow. Yo. Yo, you got it, too. He said, yo. <laughs> Good, so this is eight. This is eight. No man left behind. No man left behind. No man left behind. All right, let's go, Nate. Come on. I know you're not going to be the one. What the fuck is that, a ham hop? Atlantic City, New Jersey. I want you to put an icon of Atlantic City, New Jersey. You can put the Ferris wheel right over the boy's head. Delaware City. Delaware City. Put the, put the refinery. Put the refinery, put the refinery right over there. Yeah. Inglewood. Spencer James. Prince Shaw High School. Jordan Baker. Yeah. Yeah, Nate. I never met him. I never went to I never met him. I never met be serious about life. Shit not funny. Whoa. Look at, look at him. <laughs> hey, look, look at him. He's doing a shoulder lean. 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 This shit all the way on. <laughs> oh! oh! <laughs> oh wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Yeah. Tommy, too, really balanced lifting. Yeah. Yeah. Then yeah. 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 that's what you started. No man left behind. Same rules apply. Yeah. 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 Nate, right here, he built every, um, every major highway in Los Angeles. Cat, but I did. Bro, you gotta <laughs> carry. It's not a lie. No, I built so far. I built so far. So city. carry that, bro. If the Rams get one win, Chargers get one win, you did that. I get a, I get a check every time the Rams and Chargers win. <laughs> bro, you gotta <laughs> chill, bro. <laughs> you gotta chill. Bro. <laughs> 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 bro. They've been around swag too much. Whoa. <laughs> well, you did one. Cause you did you didn't want to do your shit over. I did too, Go back to that IQ. You didn't want to do it over. Go back to the IQ level. Nate Nate said he wanted Nate said he wanted body shots. It's only right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. I'm gonna just drop, give you the boom. Amazing. Right? Drop. Oh, that was the bag. Come on. Same thing with the right. That's it. All right. Come on. Keep going. You punch like a bitch. <laughs> you punch like a bitch. All right, everybody. I appreciate you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell as well so you're staying up to date with all the videos that we post. I plan on being super consistent on YouTube. Um, you know, just keeping you guys updated with all the phase content, um, my NBA guys, and just me and the boys just hanging out, getting some crazy workouts in as well. All right, so um, that's a wrap, man. I appreciate you all. Let's get it.